Protesters in Belarus show no signs of losing their resolve to unseat the man known as Europe's last dictator. Massive demonstrations in the capital city of Minsk over the weekend were peaceful, and that's despite a violent response earlier this month by longtime President Alexander Lukashenko. Chris Livesay has more from Minsk. From a savage crackdown to unbridled resistance, protesters in Belarus taking to the streets by the tens of thousands, demanding President Alexander Lukashenko step down after rigging the elections. What's going to happen to you? We met Olga Kavalkova, the spokeswoman for the opposition leader. She told us our voice cannot be ignored. Everything will be fine with me. But then, just this morning, unauthorized protests landed her and an opposition colleague in police custody, the last place several dissidents were ever seen or heard from again. President Lukashenko had tried to scare all of these people into staying home, but it's clearly backfired despite beating them, bludgeoning them, and even torturing them. Today, they've given up their fear and traded it in for anger and for courage as they stare down riot police and a president of 26 years. State media showed Lukashenko circling the protests in a helicopter, saying they flee like rats, then later descending, wearing a bulletproof vest and toting a rifle. He said he'll consider new elections over his dead body. Not enough to frighten away 16-year-old Yana. Will the protesters win? Yes, of course. I, I sh I'm sure that we will win. Protesters are chanting, long live Belarus, and Lukashenko, go away. The president of 26 years has clearly lost legitimacy, but the question is, does he realize that, and how much longer is he willing to cling to power? For CBS This Morning, Chris Livesay, Minsk, Belarus.